let us attend. At that time, as Jesus entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voice and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus said, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except for this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. So today, Instead of doing a traditional homily on the gospel, I would like to take a few minutes and uh, kind of introduce uh, myself, um, since this is my first time here at uh, St. Michael's. I would like to take a few minutes, just like I said, to introduce myself. My name is uh, Father Herman Lassiter. I am in my last semester at Holy Cross there in Brookline, um, and of course I'm an Archdiocesan Seminarian. Um, if you can't tell from the accent, which I think most people can point it out pretty quick, um, which I'm still on the fence about whether I actually have an accent or not, but people tell me I do, but nonetheless. Uh, I'm originally from Jackson, Mississippi. Um, uh, I've been married for 10 years to my wonderful wife, uh, Nikki. Uh, we have a seven-year-old son, uh, Titus, and a two-year-old son, uh, Thatcher. Um, prior to coming to seminary three years ago, I was a police officer uh, for 12 years. Um, I was received in the church at my home parish, at our home parish back in uh, Jackson, Mississippi, uh, St. Peter's, about 11 years ago uh, through chrismation. Now, prior to coming to seminary, and while I was working in the capacity of, of being a police officer, I began to have these thoughts of, of, of coming to seminary. And I kept telling myself over and over again that no, I can't uproot my entire family from Jackson, Mississippi and move to a seminary in the Northeast. And there was no way I could be a priest. And I just couldn't do it. There was no way. Um, I always wanted to be a cop, and that's all I could ever remember wanting to be from the time I was my kid's age. Uh, but yet, here I am, standing in front of you lovely people here at St. Michael's in Ketua, Massachusetts, uh, worshiping with you uh, and uh, liturgizing with you. I see you have forgot the rest of my paper here. Now, the reason I say all this and give you a kind of a brief history of, of a brief description of my life is because God often does things uh, that we may not always understand. Uh, he does things that we may not always comprehend. And He does things that we may not always accept. Uh, most of the time, we don't even know why these things are being allowed to happen to us or why they happen to us. But regardless if we understand God's divine revelations in our lives or not, it is important that we acknowledge His presence and His and continually give thanks to Him for the things He does for us in our lives. Uh, and to have a thankful heart towards Him. As we just heard in the Gospel reading, one of the ten lepers uh, we heard about from St. Luke uh, does this very thing. He returns and gives glory to our Lord for His mercy and His love toward Him. As St. Gregory of Palamas states in his homily 61 on the matter, the one leper came to fullness of faith and returned to speak and perform words and actions of gratitude and belief, publicly prostrating himself 
at the feet of his benefactor, a glorifying as true God, the one who granted him cleansing. So yes, brothers and sisters, we are like one of these lepers. We have received the greatest gift, something that is even greater than the life that we think we want to lead. And that is new life in Jesus Christ. Partic participation is even now in his eternal kingdom, which we are doing here during the liturgy. And he blesses us and he ministers to us through, through his church. He calls us to a greater and brings eternal purpose to our otherwise temporal lives. He invites us to receive him inside of ourselves. He invites us to feed on him through the Eucharist with our eternal souls. He heals us from the passions and the destructive vices of the world to the extent that we are willing to cooperate with him, of course. And he works in our own lives. He receives us as we are, as a cop, but always with the objective of transfiguring us into the men and women of God that he has made and wants us to be. The more you and I take the time to thank God continually, daily, and the more that we give thanks to Him, the more focus we have on Him, and the more that we step forward in faith, and we take a leap of faith, we make ourselves more open towards God, and to receive more of His grace into our lives and with each other. So I won't take up any much more of your time. So thank you for letting me be with you here all today. Um, I really enjoy um, being here. And I look forward to getting to know each and every one of you during the coffee hour today. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.